everyone i wanted to share with you my june layouts uh, most of these came from either secret not secret kit club or the 444 series from rts record the story um, the secret not secret kit club usually does a weekend party and challenges are issued this month it was uh, or i'm sorry the month of june was summer camp and there was uh, we even had team challenges this time which worked out really well and um, we are challenged to use different products or different techniques, which I really enjoy because sometimes things get stale and you keep doing the same thing over and over again. And with these challenges, they, um, they issue, you know, it makes you think outside the box sometimes and get stuff done. So I always love the challenges, my layouts, how they come out, and uh, June did not disappoint. So the first stuff we're going to look at, these are from the... Uh, baby 4 for 4 series. I forgot that I didn't do the cards and I found them underneath a stack of things. So um, this is the first one and I did some embossing. Um, and I just went in my stash and found like this is a branding strip and I found this die cut that I've had forever and just put it down. Um, I'm using the Creative Memories uh, Baby Girl uh, paper pack. I think it was from 2015. Uh, this was just a frame that was on my desk, a paper frame that I put in the background. Uh, this is from Valentine's Day. Um, this is a Creative Memories pack that I had laying around, and I just kind of put them on the edges and cut them. I can't remember where the sunshine equals happiness comes from. I was just in my embellishment box. And this is my favorite, actually. There is a certain happiness in being silly and ridiculous, and I hardly ever use mason jars as I, I don't know if I've ever used a mason jar, to be honest with you, but um, just glued that stuff together, and I love the way this one came out. Um, then I had this scratched piece of paper. It's just a white strip. I folded it, I stamped, and I had these little things on my desk and put that together as a nice little card. So that's my 444 Baby Series cards. This one came from the Secret Not Secrets uh, Kit Club Challenges where we were supposed to create something off the page, meaning something that wasn't a scrapbooking. Uh, some of them did bookmarkers. I did a card. Um, this is a die cut that's new to me that it embosses the trees and then it cuts out the circle as well. So you can do a shaker pocket. I still have to work on it because as you can see, you can see my, um, my mounting tape. So this is the first time I used it and I'll, I'll work out the bugs on that, but I put some sequins in there and I liked how it came out. I'll, I'll give that out to somebody. Um, and I did, I did do one page in my traveler's notebook. Um, this is a challenge that was getting messy with Kathy and Kathy challenged us to use inks and to get messy. Um, so what I did is, um, she gave us a tip not to use the packaging on a packaging technique to use something more uh, thin that will spread the ink better so I used a Ziploc bag and I really like the way this came out um, so you fold it out because that's another challenge was we were supposed to stash bash our pictures um, do an interactive page was a suggestion so um, this is a park that we go to a lot in the summer and we walk around and I take pictures of the flowers and stuff so what I'll do is I'll put pictures on this side as well and journal so um, I had the ink and some molding paste I don't know if you can see that on there let me open that back up again um, yeah, and I just had the snail in my my um, in my stash so I put that on there and these butterflies came from a punch that I used on another page they were laying on my desk and I just put them on there so that came together pretty easy um, and then this is the start of my 12 by 12 layouts so this was a color play challenge I believe this one was uh, Christina gave us different years with different colors for those years and I believe this is from 1999 was the year the color palette that I chose it's my daughter um, we're not big sweets people so we didn't have cake we had steak so a steak and a candle um, so this was for her birthday her 17th birthday which I've had these in my stash forever I finally used them and this piece of paper I think came I got this piece of paper in my first secret not secret kit club and I loved it and I've always wanted to use it but I never could use it 
um, it just never fit. So finally, um, this worked with this paper pad and I was so happy to get that used up. There's that. And then this one was part of a team challenge. So we had, our team had to pick four things and Christina gave us one. And uh, Wasi tape was one, a stamp was another. We had to use a stencil, so I stenciled the background. Um, stickers, which these are stickers from the dollar store I got off of a sheet right there as well. And string, and I made just some balloons with uh, some strings hanging from them. And this is a companion page to her steak and a candle. This is her birthday week, so she went to her grandmother's and we had a, a meal with uh, her cousin who has the same birthday week and her gift. And I'm just gonna talk about all the things that we did for her birthday that week, so. Uh, this one was a recipe challenge. We had to use cardstock, I remember that. Um, and we were, I can't remember what the other stuff was, but I don't normally use just plain cardstock. Um, I like a patterned paper more. To me, the cardstock is flat, um, but it came out okay. This is my husband, he builds guitars, and this is him learning how to wire his first guitar, um, thus wired. But um, I'm happy with the way this came out. I struggle with masculine layouts, but I'm gonna try and work on that a little more. I have some ideas for that. Uh, this was, we were supposed to scrap lift a member, a team member from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. And this is, I believe the way you pronounce her last name, uh, Kathy McElfresh. I'm saying that way wrong, but she had one of her cute little dog and um, I pretty much scrap lifted it. Um, I added the paw prints with the backing but she had her journaling here and she had like some white uh, or maybe dark brown marker around all these. I decided to uh, emboss them and so I just did the white around there. I love the way this came out. This is our dog. It's a bush that she always goes to when we walk around the house. But she's cute, Stella. Uh, this was Christie's challenge um, and it's the nickname challenge and we had to use um, a nickname that, you know, we use. Well, at first I was like, oh, I don't, I don't want to do this challenge. This is what's not one of my favorites. This came out, this, I love this. I love the way this came out. And that's kind of what I was talking about in the beginning about how sometimes you think you don't want to do it or you're not going to like it. And it turns out to be one of your favorite pages. So my daughter had a whole bunch of, um, nicknames that we've called her and I started from when she was little and worked all the way down to um, now it's just Liz but uh, we still call her some of these names but she had monkey sweet pea Libbits, Lizzie and you know one that she doesn't want broadcast farty McFarty pants but um, yeah so this was one of my favorites I love the bright colors uh, this was the team challenge and this was telephone so Christina gave us a Jen Shao uh, layout gave it to the first member and then the first member scrap lifted it and sent us her layout then we had to scrap lift the first team members which I did I was the second one and then we then I sent this layout to the third person and she had to take it do her take on it and then Karen sent it to the fourth person which was Pam and um, it's just so cool to see the progression of people's different takes on the layouts. Um, this, this is one of my favorite layouts that I have done by far. Um, I just love the black and the white. I love the clustering. Um, on Sarah's, she had three blocks. So I turned mine and I used the clusters as a block. And uh, I use the same uh, layout of the photos, which are different sizes. And I love how I did the uh, clustering here. Usually I struggle with that. But like I said, I just, I was real happy with this. Um, I used the mounting tape um, to pop up some of the flowers too, to bring it dimension. So this one was Tag Girls Challenge. And she gave, a, it's the mood board challenge. She usually gives us a mood board to work off of and it was June's birthstone and I can't remember what it was called 
um, and I this is a cocoa vanilla um, collection that um, I cut some paper up and I'm, I'm doing four four layouts uh, following a class but um, I love the coloring in this I got a little uh, puffy sticker that was from the dollar store and uh, but most of this uh, besides that is the cocoa vanilla so very happy with that um, this one I don't remember what this challenge was for but this is uh, my daughter and three of her friends which I don't want to show their pictures um, they have been friends since ninth grade. They found each other and they have been great friends since. Oh, I remember what this is. This is the Canasta Challenge um, uh, by Crystal Barrett. So you have to have a uh, seven pattern papers or two pattern papers in mixed media. You got to choose. Um, you had to have a book, whether it be a picture of a book or a um, flip top type book and this flips open which I don't want to flip it open with the pictures and there's pictures underneath it and my journaling will go underneath there and you had to have uh, three clusters so I have one here one here and one here and um, it, it is a fabulous friendship these are a good bunch of girls and um, the, the, I love this layout as well. I love a lot of my layouts this month, as you can tell. Sorry, guys, I keep telling you that. Um, I This is a 6x6 six six paper pad, plus one. I did not have enough to make these cameras going the right way, so I turned them upside down, and underneath it's, like, cut off. So that's why those are upside down. If I wouldn't have said anything, I don't know if anybody would have noticed, but I'm okay with that. I'm just going to put it in there. These are some puffy stickers. Uh, from Dear Lizzie, and um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where that came from. Oh, I think that's the Hip Kit Club packet. Uh, this one uh, was another team challenge. We had to take. Uh, it's called Mimic Me. So I took Sarah Parks and Karen Mosby's. Um, they posted me their the, in the group the two favorite, uh, one of their favorite layouts that they did, and I combined the two of them to create this. Um, Sarah's was diagonal paper, um, so I put my layout on a diagonal, and um, Karen had like this swooping uh, shelf that was holding housing her pictures, so I kind of combined them both and came up with this. And uh, this is the three of us in the kitchen cooking, um, which was uh, is always fun, um, and we weren't running into each other that day, so that's even better. So. That. This was a bonus page. Yeah, this was a bonus page. So I created, we moved, and I created one a page a couple months ago saying goodbye to our old house. And I wanted to make sure that I, I did a pocket page because there's a funny story that goes along with it. Um, I won't go into it, but as soon as we put our house up for sale, the base never leaked in like 10 years. A bad storm came and our basement started leaking. Um, so and my husband was going to return his guitar because we own two houses. It was just, just, uh, not a good time for us, but it turned out all okay. Um, and then I did the back part of us actually moving. And, um, so this was the grab five, which was something new, which was the journaling card and something bright, which I used some bright inks here, um, on my stencil some old wasi tape was the cameras um stencil is here and i used stickers throughout so that was christina's grab five and this just documents about us moving and our friends and then home sweet home um, i also made this card here with um, a kaiser craft stencil and then i used some vicky Booten that iridescent for the keyholes new house keyholes I thought that kind of went so that's that and so this is a two-page layout uh, this is my daughter um, who is running cross-country in her senior year uh, she just started so it has been an experience and this is her getting fitted for some new cross-country shoes which is this is cool you stand in this machine and it scans your foot and tells you 
gives you like a 3D image of your foot. It, it was pretty cool, actually. Um, and we got her a pair of shoes. This is her first practice or conditioning. And here's these dollar stickers again that I got. I, I really like those. I keep using those. But every time she goes to run, we always make fun of her and we're like, run, Forest, run. So that's the title. Um, in her first practice, this is what they ran in. Uh, it was a rainstorm, no thunder. Um, so she was running in the rain and getting pelted with it. Um, these are her new shoes when they're all pretty bright and those are when it's all muddy and, and nasty. But she's enjoying it, so that's good. Uh, this one, oh, another diagonal. I like diagonal this time. This is, I'm not sure what this challenge was for. Oh, this was a scrap lift from, um, Christina picked one of the members and I can't remember her last name. Her first name's Karen and I scrap lifted. Um, she did some layering. She had these types of tags on there. Um, but I've had this paper in my stash for a very long time and I was very happy that I got to use this up. So I kind of stayed contained in this block and then I kind of went out as well because this uh, arrow didn't fit. So I figured if I put it in between the wordings and I went out of the box. So I decided that, you know, I would add some elements out of that as well. So, and I used a lot, of, a lot of mounting tape on this. All the clouds are up, the tags are up, these little flower embellishments, all the arrows are up as well too. Uh, this was team challenge and this team challenge was three pattern papers. Or, uh, Sarah challenged me to use three pattern papers and chipboard. Now, once again, I had this chipboard in my stash like a forever. I bought it at Archivers. I don't know if everybody had Archivers, but it was like the first time I went there. They're out of business now or they only sell online. Um, but this is the Secret Not Secret Kid Club that I went to in March. And these are all the ladies that attended, the lovely ladies. Uh, here's Christina and Sarah um, talking. This was at the end of it, I believe. Um, and they were just sitting on the floor chatting, which was a cool picture. And these three ladies I sat with, um, they were so much fun. Had such a great time with them, MK and Tracy. And um, these are the, that's where I took the butterflies for the um, Traveler's Notebook. But, uh, so I used the chipboard, which I love. Um, and this was me time, this record I recorded. Oh yeah, recorded. I got secret uh, journaling in this one. And uh, of course, I love the way this one turned out as well. I think that was my last one. Yep, it's the last one. So that is my June uh, share. And uh, hopefully I'll be back in July with uh, some more double page. I need to do some more double pages. So thank you very much. Have a good evening. And I'll see you in July.